so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. No more. No more. Oh, thank you. You know, that was so nice. I'm going to come in again. Hey. Hey, today's guests say they need to come clean with the truth that they've been leading a double life. Now, they're here to say, I'm leaving you for my secret lover. Please welcome Angel to the show. <laughs> Angel, uh, hi, welcome to the show. Uh, what's your story? What's going on? Well, um, I've been... <laughs> Nine months now. His name is Elijah. Um, he doesn't know I'm been sleeping with somebody else. I don't know what is gonna be his reaction. You know what I mean? If I really don't care, he can. I don't care. Um, you are on this show. You always have to ask. Um, you are a drag queen. Is yes, that I'm a drag queen. You're a drag. <laughs> Um, okay, so you are now with someone else, but yes. your ex wants you back. Is that what's going on? Yes, he wants me back, but I don't want him back. You don't want him. Uh, your, ex, your ex doesn't know about your current lover. No, he doesn't know, no clue. And your current lover... They don't know. They your don't current lover doesn't know about your ex. No, they don't know. About Let's meet your uh, ex, Elijah. <laughs> Hi, Elijah. Welcome to the show. How long you guys known each other? Nine months to a year. And, and it's been going great. And. I just want to tell him that, you know, I still love him, you know, even though I cheated on you, but, um... You cheated on him? Just once. Please, not once. Twice. It's twice. Not once. Twice. Once. Uh, -uh. uh, but you still love him? I still love him. I still love him. You two talk to each other. Well, Elisha, I bring you to the show to tell you that the nine months, to close to you, we've been together. You cheated me with a woman. Um, <laughs> what? When I can be all you woman. You can't cheat with a woman on our show. The I can't trust you no more. I don't, whatever you told me, it's like saying you cannot I don't believe you no more, whatever you have to say to me. Um, I have somebody else. Oh! And uh, he doesn't know about you, like you don't know about him. Where's he at? He's... Oh! he's... Oh! Okay, hold on. Wait a second. You can't be angry at, at, at this other one because oh. he doesn't know about you. I don't care. <laughs>
this is the first, Trina, this is the first that you found out that... Yes. When was the... Uh, uh, Angel, when was the last time that you were with Elijah? <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Sure. He never was. He was always at the bar. Shut up, bitch. He never was. He was always at Kate, the bar anyway. Whatever. He was always at the Go bar. Go and suck somebody else's... <laughs> <with me. laughs> whatever. Whatever you shit. Okay, why don't you, uh, excuse me, stand up for a second. Why don't you give that back? Did you want this back? You, you want sure, yeah, they need it. They need it. Need it. Gosh. Okay. This is the first time we've ever done a show at a water park. Okay. So what's happened here? What happens in this oh, relationship? Oh, I'm done. What do I'm you want? I'm done. And especially that's, that, that, that is what keeps me around. will never come off your finger. say they are tired of the people they're with uh, and so they're here to tell them that the relationship is over oh. okay meet Scott Scott says he needs to tell his fiance that the wedding's off because he's leaving for someone else oh. Scott you're ready to get married and you're leaving yeah what tell me about that well I've been with Kelly for a year and a half and the past three months I've been sleeping with another man and I need to tell the wedding's off oh. You're engaged, you're engaged to this woman, Kelly, and you're about to tell her the wedding's off because you're sleeping with a man? Yes, Jerry, that's right. <laughs> you're a tough crowd. Okay, so uh, why would you be engaged to her if you like men? Because I didn't know that until three months ago. I've never been with a man before. I mean, this is like the first guy you've ever been with? Yes, it is, and it's what, great. What prompted that? You're walking down the street, you see a guy, you say, whoa! Jerry, 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 Jerry. No, no, he didn't say he liked me, it's this other guy. Come on. No. Well, she knows she's here to hear something about the relationship. She's agreed to be told. Here's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Welcome to the show. Hi. How long have you guys been engaged? Well, we've been dating for 18 months. I guess we engaged maybe past eight, I think. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and how's the relationship going? It's doing actually pretty good. You know, um, we've had our ups and downs and everything, but we're going to get married in June in Las Vegas. And you love him? Of course. <laughs> have, you, have you always been attracted to redheads? I mean, why are you... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because my, my color is red, too. I don't know. Okay. But you, you just love each other? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a very romantic audience. <laughs> um, okay. You. You, you know you're here because he wants to talk to you, so go ahead. Um. I'll stay out of it. Well, Kelly, you know we've been together a year and a half. Yeah. It's been great. But the past three months, I need to call the wedding off because I've been sleeping with a man the past three months. <laughs> Cheating 
cheating on me. Yes. What the f think of a joke? Take her back to the studio. Come on. Psycho. All right. All right, man. She's gone. She's gone. I'm going to. <laughs> Anyone else like to be a guest on the show? <laughs> Anytime you need to go to the bathroom, you just raise your hand. Uh, who is this guy? That's a roommate of ours. A roommate? Let's meet him. Let's bring him out. His name is John. John, welcome to the show. Uh, you knew he was engaged. Yeah, I know, but... What? So <laughs> things just kind of happen. How did you I guys mean... meet? I mean, he says he's never been with a guy before. He's engaged to her. All of a sudden, he's walking down the street. He meets you, and he falls in love with you. Tell me how No, that... no, no, no. We've been friends for a while, and um, I kind of got stuck, and I had to move into their place, and it just, like, sort of... I don't know. It was, it was nice. Did you ever steal her nail polish? <laughs> Well, you all, I'm joking around, but you've heard her. I mean, she's thinking she's getting married to you. You come on national television, tell her not only are you not getting married, but you're sleeping with another guy. Yeah, I know. If I would have known this before, it would never happen. Oh, gee, thank you. What do you want to say to him? All I say is when his ass gets home, everyone's kicking your Thank you. 
I promise it'll never come off your finger. They are through with their relationships and are moving on with their new lovers. Okay, please meet Renee. She says it's time she tells her boyfriend that she's been sleeping with his best friend. Oh! Renee, what's going on? Well, me and my boyfriend, Billy, we've been together for about two years now. And I've been cheating on him with his best friend. Oh! How long... How long has the cheating been going on? For about a month. For a month? Well, how did it come about? What happened? Well, Billy, he hadn't been around for a while. He's working nights and all, and his best friend and all live down the street, and he'd always come over, and it just happened. Well, I'm going to let you tell your boyfriend. Here's your boyfriend, Billy. Uh, Billy, you can sit next to her. There you go. Okay. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, how long have you guys been together? About two years. Two years now. Okay. How did you meet? Um, friends, cousins. Like Through that. friends, cousins. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, <laughs> it's always those cousins. So, uh, and... Uh, well, you know you're here. She wants to talk to you. But do you love her? I mean, how's it going? Yeah, you know, I love her and everything. You know, I, hell, I've been with her for two years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, you talk, you talk to him. You wanted to. Billy, we've been together for two years, and I do love you and all, but I've been cheating on you oh. with your best friend. Oh. I got something to tell you, too. Uh, I've been sleeping around, too. He knows the person you've been sleeping with? It's his best friend, Trip. Bring him on out, Trip. Show, why would you be sleeping with your best friend's girlfriend? She's a bitch. Oh. We'll be right back. Boom. <clears throat> 
if you just joined us, uh, Renee told her boyfriend of two years, uh, Bill, uh, that she's been cheating on him, at least for the last month, with his best friend, Trip. So obviously Bill's uh, pretty upset about that. Um, and yet, Bill, you had something you wanted. You had told us before that you haven't been exactly faithful. Oh, no. See, <laughs> punk ass, I've been sleeping with your late, your woman. <laughs> So your girlfriend is Tiffany. Your girlfriend is Tiffany. Was. She, she didn't was well. She's been backstage watching this. Let's bring her out. Here's Tiffany. Renee, why are you upset with her? She is supposed to be my what? best friend. But you're... <laughs> she may be your best friend, but you've been sleeping with your boyfriend's best friend. <laughs> what do you want? Why would you be doing that to your best friend? Why? Because she's... God, I just. So you don't want to. No, I, I want to be with him. I love him to death. Who? Trip. Oh. Why are you sitting over there? Wait a second. I'm confused. Okay, you guys talk because I'm confused. You say you love Trip to death, and yet you're sleeping with his best friend, Bill. Renee, you're saying that you love Bill, but you're sleeping with his best friend, Trip. I guess the way to sleep with you guys is not to be your friends. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with you. But I, 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 help me out. You got to admit this is pretty weird. What's going on? Well, you get lonely when people's never there. Yeah. Renee, who are you going to be with? I don't know. What? I don't know. You don't I, know? I love Billy, but Shh. I want to be with Trip. You love Billy, but you want to be with Trip. Trip, what do you want? <laughs> Go ahead. I know we're going through a lot of problems on both ends, but I'm telling you. I want. Go ahead. Yeah. This box is broke. But if you'll have us, I promise it'll never come off your finger.
Welcome back. Today, guests are finding out the truth about their lover's cheating ways. Please meet Cynthia. Now, Cynthia says that for the past month, she's been having an affair with a married man. Oh. Notice how I always whisper when I say those things. Uh, Cynthia, what's going on? Hi. Um, well, I'm um, dating this married guy. That I've met him like in 96, and we dated for like two or three months off and on. And I got bored like in December, so I decided to call him back. And we've been kicking it for like the last three months. And but I'm ready to you tell know him. he's married. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> Why not? I mean, would you want someone to do that to you? I mean, if I find out about it, I mean, I just have to get with him. I don't care about nobody being married. What does he tell you about his wife? He told me that she's a bitch and he's ready to leave her. She gets <laughs> Ooh. Now, his wife doesn't know about you. No, but she's going to find out today. <laughs> okay. She's agreed to come on the show and find out something about her relationship. So let's bring her out. How about a nice hand for Tamika? Yeah. Hi, Tamika. Tamika, welcome to the show. And uh, you are married to, what's his name, Herman? Herman. Herman. And uh, you're here on the show because you're going to find out something about your marriage? Is right. That right. This, you don't know this woman. Her name is Cynthia. Mm -hmm. uh, Cynthia, what did you want to say to Tamika? Well, I came on the show to let you know that um, I've been sleeping with your husband for the last three months. <laughs> Continue to sleep with them because it's all good. Right. Why? Why are you angry at her? What did she ever do to you? you she ain't do nothing to me. You're sleeping with her husband. So she should what? be mad at you. What? With. You what? <laughs> Let's bring him out. Here's Herman. Hi, Herman. What are you doing? You're married to her. You're sleeping with her. What's going on? I ain't nothing going on. I just don't want to be with her no more. I want to be with Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia and my girl. I want to be with Cynthia now. I don't want to be with her. Why the not? The girl is crazy. The girl is crazy. I don't want to be with her no more. She always on my bad sh Bad ass. You need to be <laughs> Cynthia like it though. Fat ass. Yeah. You married him? When did you? Did yeah, you, you married me? So. 
I must not be Why did too you marry bad. her? Why did you marry her? Because I thought I was in love with her, but now I know I'm not. Okay. Want a divorce? Yeah, she know I want a divorce. I don't give a Well, whatever. Whatever. I used the excuse to move back home with my mama, talking about I'm going back to school, but so what's I was, that's mama? when we hooked back up. What you say? What you say? You heard me. No, I ain't hear you. What? You heard oh, yeah. What? <laughs> you heard what she said? She said she don't want to hear you. We'll be right back. lady in the red you're pretty you don't need him and you you better keep a leash on him because he was checking out me and my friend during the commercial break so you better keep a leash on him hi i would like to know which one is the lady and which one is the man you sound much, like more of the this than he, she do you have a fat bubble clock you have a fat bubble clock and you heard what she said she tired of your big butt rolling all over her They're going to break the camera. Yeah, my question's for Scott. Okay, bitch. How come you going to diss Kelly like that on national TV when you could have done this at home, told her in her house? How are you going to do that to her and bring that on TV? Yeah. Kelly look a hell of a lot better than that bitch. <laughs> The striped shirt. It looks like he's got so much animosity. He's the type of guy who would walk into McDonald's and start blasting. I got the cure for him. I got the cure for him. I think you should get hooked up with Tweety Pie right in front of you. The guy with the purple uh, lips. I think that'll help you out. I think it'll help you out. I'm going to All y'all foul. All y'all foul. Y'all might as well just stop each other to be honest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Second of all, second of all, you won't be dead. You won't be Show it up. You ain't gonna be this. And you did a nose job, girl. And the next question I had, the next question I had, who gave you that hick? Her or her? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It yeah. wasn't you. Sit down. You sit me down. You sit me down. You sit me down. I got the crew right here. You sit me down. You sit me down.
me take this opportunity to uh, thank all of you for being with us. I hope you're able to move on to uh, more peaceful relationships from here and, uh, and not be hurt as much as you were in these relationships. Good luck to you. You know, unfortunately, there's no good way to get dumped, though honor and character suggest that if you've had a relationship with someone, they have the right to hear that it's over and the reason why and to hear it from you before you start messing with somebody else. Nothing is better than love and nothing's worse than losing it. And knowing that, and knowing that it happens somewhat, sometime to each of us, if it's over, it's over. But be careful, be gentle and honest. The heart is nothing to play with. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. We give a salute to you, Jerry. Thanks for having us. We love you. Hi, everybody. I'm Cresta Illinois. Jerry, we're from GI. You we got it going on. You understand? Jerry, your show up the bar. I want to get shot out the lips and cut yourself here. You couldn't come, but the show was the Southside, Jerry. <laughs> hey, Jerry, I'm Joey. This is my sister, Melissa. Hey, what's up? <laughs> we come um, all the way from East Harbor, Connecticut. Represent the hood. Give a shout out to my friends. See you back at home. Jerry, Jerry, can you work it? Work it? Can you work it? Work it? Welcome to the show. My guests today can't seem to face the fact that their lovers are lying. They're sick of love and they're caught in the thick of it. Please meet Sierra. She says that she's always known what she wants in a man. Sierra, what's going on? Jerry, my life has been kind of hectic and crazy. And I've been with a lot of different man, men, but six months ago, I met the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. And so why are you here? Because he doesn't know I'm a man. So you've been with him for six months dating? Yes. And he, he, he says he loves you or cares about you a lot? We take care of each other. We care a lot about each other. We've been there for each other a lot. Uh, yeah, but he thinks you're a woman? Yes. Have you been intimate with him? We've had oral sex, but I decided we should wait for sex because I wanted him to love me for me, not for Has, sex. Um, have you kissed each other? Yes. Well, didn't you think maybe he'd like to know that you're a guy before he kissed you? Yeah, but it's hard for a girl like me to find true love. And once you find that, it's hard for you to explain to that person that you have a because you have the fear of losing them. <laughs> It hardly ever comes up in a conversation, does it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, but I could see why you wouldn't necessarily say upon meeting someone, hey, by the way, but certainly if you start dating and the first time he moves in to kiss you or something, you would then say, wait, isn't that the time to tell but him? But, Jerry, you don't understand. Being a person like this, it's very hard, very hard, and... I know he loves me, and I hope, I hope this doesn't upset him. Do you think he's going to be okay with this? He has a temper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bad temper. Well, he's certainly on the right show, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's bring him out. Here's James.
Hi, James. Welcome to the show. How long have you guys been together? Six months. Six months. And where did you meet? In a club. In a club. And was it love at first sight or just you were friends first or? We were just friends first. You were just friends first. You know, we just started talking. And you see each other regularly now? Yeah. You don't live together, do you? No, I live somewhere else. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> do you like her? Yeah, I love her. You love her. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but you don't know why you're here? No. Well, go ahead. He says he loves you. James, you know, we've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. You was with me when my mom died. We've been through a lot. Um, when I was born, I really wasn't born a woman. I was born a man. What do you mean you were born a man? When I was born, I was born just like you. You mean you got a between your legs? <laughs> yeah. Why would you lie to me like that? Because I was in fear of losing you. We have so much together. I've helped you get on your feet. We've been there for each other. And I thought I would lose you if I told you about it. But you should have just told me from the beginning. I, I probably wouldn't. I probably would have accepted it. Why, why you just didn't tell me from the beginning? Because I was scared. I didn't know what to say to you, how to say it to you. I mean, we've been together for six months. I spent all this time with you. I, I mean... Spent all the time with you? I've done a lot of for you. You shouldn't even have to question. If you shouldn't but be I upset do, about the situation. I do everything for you. I go everywhere for you. I drove 16 hours to Tennessee back and forth to go to your mother's funeral with you. And I haven't done nothing for you, neither? But you lied to me. You betrayed my trust. I can't even trust you anymore. So you so so we're not gonna be together? Well, I don't even know. No. <laughs> did, you, did you ever did it ever cross your mind that maybe, you know, this is a guy? No. I, I never, <laughs> no. But you do care for for him. Yeah, oh, I mean I, I, I her. I, oh, thank you. I, I love her, but you lied to me. Yeah. Why would you lie to me? What like else that? was I gonna do? I, mean, I, I was in a fear of losing you. Y'all always sit up and talk about this and that. Always. Y'all always sit up talking about that. But you still shouldn't have lied to me, period. I mean, how am I ever gonna trust you again? I mean, you just gonna have to try. I what you mean you can't, huh? I could do that. But what you mean you can't after I everything do I done done for your stupid ass? It don't matter what. <laughs> What, yeah, it do. It make a lot of difference. I've done a lot of for you. But I've done a lot of for you, that too. I, I never lie, lied to you. You're not going to leave me over this. It don't matter. More yeah, you've never lied to me. I never lied to you. You've never lied to no, me. I've don't sit up in my face. You. you have lied to me about no, a lot of About whatever. what? Not nothing whatever. big like this. Whatever. So you saying that you can't accept it? No. I don't so think you I can't can, accept no. it? Well, the no. bitch since you can't accept it, then... Everything I done for him. Yeah, but if he doesn't uh, want to be with a man, yeah, I don't want to be. With I'm not saying what he like should that. do, but he obviously wants to be with a woman. You weren't honest with him. He could be angry at you, but that I'm... could have been that could have been taken care of. Yeah. That don't take nothing. A few thousand dollars, and I can have. <laughs> the... <laughs> I I'd rather have a dog. Huh? Oh, I want to do everything I did for you. Uh -huh. What is it? Okay. What is it specifically that you did for him? Everything. He does the lazy 
don't work. Language, language. Don't use the F word. He don't work. He don't do nothing. He just, I done everything, Jerry. Everything. Helped him with him and his situation. A lot of stuff. But you lied to him about the most important thing in his, he wanted a relationship with a woman. And you didn't tell him the truth. If you told the truth at the beginning, he even said he would have even, you would have considered it. I mean, it was a, it's a possibility, but you still should lie to me. Well, it's over with now. Now I'm kicking your ass. That's what I mean. That's not, that's not how it's true. We'll be back. It's true, bitch. Today, you say they're ready to face off with their unfaithful lovers. Please meet Vanita. She says her sister gives new meaning to the phrase sibling rivalry. Vanita, what is going on? Um, about four months ago, Jerry, I found out that my sister was sleeping with my fiance. And then about a month later, I found out that she was pregnant by him. Oh. Wow. Uh, so, what was your. Obviously, you were angry with I'm you. angry. I'm. 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 I'm I'm mad. I'm just steaming. Are you still going with him? Yes, I'm still with him. He lives with us. Why? Because I love him. He. But I he mean, slept look at with me. your I'm, sister. I'm 327 pounds and I'm 5'9". He looked past that. He loves everything about me, from from my dirty socks on up. Your dirty socks. Everything. Uh, well, that you could fix. Uh, <laughs> so let's do this. Uh, so you love you love him, even though he cheats on you. I you, love him. Yeah. And. Don't be taking off your shoes. Your socks are dirty. Okay. Well, now you're angry with your sister. I'm angry with both of them. I, I, I feel like, you know, there's a lot going on. My sister and I, we haven't had a relationship like we should have, but I yeah. trust her. She's my sister. Yeah. We have the same blood running through us, and I don't feel yeah. like she should have done something like this No, to she me. shouldn't. You're and right. I, and I trusted him. We have three years together. I've sacrificed having a place to live to be with this man. But and now I feel that like you he's know wrong. that he's not honest and that he's made your sister pregnant, why would you think that you can keep this relationship going and have any stability? I'm telling you, Jerry, look at me. I don't have a bunch of men knocking at my door. Oh, you're a pretty lady. I, but I, I mean, I understand that, but I don't, I, you know, he loves me. There you go. Come in. <laughs> Easy, big fella. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that just means silly. So, uh... You still want, so what are you here to do then? Why I'm are you here? I'm here to confront him. I want answers. Someone needs to tell me why they would do something like this to me when I love and trust both of them as much as I did. Do you think? And I do. Does he still love you? Does he tell you he loves you? Yes, he tells me he loves me every day. Oh, so he says he's sorry for what happened. Was yes. it a one-time thing or do they see each other regularly? They don't see each other regularly. We live in two different states. Oh, okay. So it was a one-time thing. He says he still loves you. Yes. Do you think she, does she, what does she say to you when she talks about this? Does she say we don't talk about it. Okay, but did she ever tell you she wants to be with him? When I, when I've talked to her, yeah. we don't even talk about it. There's, there's, we try not to talk about it because it's an uncomfortable situation to really sure. talk about. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll let you talk to her now. Here is your sister who is pregnant with your fiance's baby. She's pregnant. Okay. Be easy on her. Here is Sean. <laughs>
No, baby, it's all about you. Relax, relax, relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. So now, here's... Okay, did you e ever feel like maybe you should be with some other guy if they're together because it is your sister? Did you feel bad? No, no. this is all... Of, it, everything is always about her. Okay. It's always been about her. Yeah. I want her to know that things aren't about her anymore. Okay. If she wanted that man, she should have treated him right. I was in the basement helping him with his homework while she was upstairs laying on her lazy ass all the time? Come on now, what kind of woman is that? She don't deserve a man. She don't deserve one at uh, all. How old is this guy? He's 21. Oh, 21, okay. Um, and, all right, so you, uh, do you love him? Yes, I love him. We're gonna be together. I have his child. We're gonna be a family. Who's he live with? He lives with me. If he loves you, why is he living with her? Right now, the situation is he can't come stay with me because right now I stay with my mother. Yes. In about two months, he will be leaving from up there because that's the only place he has to stay right now. And he will be coming down with me and my yeah. baby. We'll meet him when we come back. Hey, you, huh? you feel like a man. Oh, that's you don't make me feel like a you man. Don't, she you don't. You think you about Let's meet him. Here's Nate. choice and I told you you didn't have to do it. And that. I stayed because I cared about you. And I cared about you too. I told you you ain't had to do All that. All I want to know is why. Why would you do my sister? Thanks. That is my sister. <laughs> Thanks as I well. I trusted you. My daughter called you daddy. And you supposed to be her daddy. Okay, you, did you ever love her? Yes. I, I always loved her. You'll always love her. Yeah, I but mean. You're sleeping with her sister. Or was that a one-time thing? I mean, that the she was helping me out with some schoolwork. Or well, that homework, boy. <laughs> Jerry, I mean, what seriously. What was this, biology? What subject? No, she was helping me out towards, like, some things of my problem that I need help with. Mm. She was helping me out. We got real close. You know, we kissed, and it just went farther than that. We started having sex. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sorry that I got her pregnant, but I'm going to take care of my responsibility. I didn't ask you not to take care of your responsibility. That is not what I asked you to do. I told you that if you was going to take care of that baby, take care of that baby. Do you love her? But I asked you. I mean, I fell in love. I fell in love with her. Oh, I, you are in love with her now. What I asked you was, when she came and she said that she was pregnant, I asked you, do you love her? No, I don't love her. I love you. You my baby mama. We got kids together. I love you, Vanita. I I'm going to be with you for the rest of my life. I was going to marry you. Yeah. I was going to give up everything that I believed in to be with you. And I do. I mean, I still care for you. But, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Are you saying you want to be with her? Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, personally, how I'm feeling, I'm like this. I don't take care of my baby. I feel like she need to work on some things before we can even go move on to the next level in our relationship. Because if it don't, then I'm just going to go ahead and be by myself, do what I need to do and take care of my baby. And... What? Straight up! What does that mean? Straight up! Straight up! Straight up. That's that what you're going to do! I dare you! I dare you! Because personally, I don't need that trouble. Because personally, I'm like this, okay, whatever happened, I'm truly sorry for it. But I'm, I, what am I supposed to do? I can't sit here and try to replace something 
that can't be replaced. It can't be passed now. I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do. So either you can accept it or you can't. That's all right. You ain't got to be bothered with me. But I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do. I'm trying to make something go on. Because it's, it's 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 real messed up. Get the loser! Get the loser! No, shut up! Y'all losers! Y'all losers! I should I don't know. Huh? Shit! 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 Huh? Do what you think. That's on you. Oh. Okay. Do what I feel. I don't hear females. Mm. But I ain't gonna let you sit there and beat upon me. You know what? You said that you wanted to be with me, that you right. was gonna take care of this right. baby. Now you saying that you gonna be oh. by yourself? I said, what is if that about? It doesn't work out, what do you then mean I if do it, it doesn't work? You said that you was gonna make this yeah, work. And that I we am. was gonna be a family. And I am. What is this now that you're talking that you gonna be by and yourself? If it doesn't. What do you mean if it doesn't? What is it gonna work? I've helped you the whole time I've been with you. Okay, the and whole I'm time. And I'm still trying to make this work. Months. And I'm now you're saying that you don't want to be with me? That I you'll just be that. by yourself? I did not what say that. What does that mean? If it doesn't work out, then I'm gonna do what I do and need to be by myself. If it doesn't Why are you work? even thinking about it not working out? We're gonna be a family. We're gonna be together. We, you, you, you coming with me. Okay. You are coming with me. Do you understand that? There is no other option. You coming and you being a father to this baby and you're gonna be my man. Oh, it is an option. I'll no, be it's not gonna be. What do you mean it's an option? It is an option. This ain't no option. You're gonna be with me. It's I an have option. your baby. It's an option. I have your baby. What, what, do you if he doesn't, that? what if he doesn't love you? But he already said that he loved Didn't you hear him yeah. say that he loves you, me? You love her? Yeah. So you're gonna but be I'll, with her? I'm gonna make things work, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna do what I need to do. Cause I know. Did, did, did you hear the question? Yeah. Did you hear the question? He said, yeah. "Are you gonna be with me?" He didn't yeah, ask you any other questions. You. And I said, "I'm be he with said, you." He said, "Are you gonna be with me?" Yeah. Okay then. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Guess what? Do you hear that? Guess what? He's gonna be with me. Do you understand I'm that? I'm waiting on you to jump. Stupid. Do you understand that? <laughs> He's gonna be with me. Jump stupid. So what are you thinking? You, you wanna do something, darling? I mean, I can't is help that what because you I do, do care you're for her. looking at me like you want to do something. You want to do something? This is confusing you because, okay? you know, I care about her, but then now, you know, I care about her. So you care about both of them? I care about both of them because I have my reasons with her. I yeah. really do. We've been through a lot. Okay. We fell, me and her fell into it. I think you should let me get through there first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Welcome back. My guests today say their lives re revolve around sex. Please meet Marie. She says she's living the American dream. Marie, what is going on? Hi, Terry. I, I, love, I love driving American car. I love sex. I love to flush people. Yes. I, I love boys and girls. Yes. <laughs> and I have boys all together. I'm going to party all the time. This is yeah. my dream. I Where love you, your uh... show. I learned so much from you. I learned English from you. I've been here for 15 years. Jenny, take me to Ohio. You, you learned from our show? Huh? Okay, so what, seriously, what's going on? What's your story? You know uh, could you cover up just a bit? I know. Okay, what do you do? <laughs> okay, so what's your story? Uh, the thing is, I just got married two months ago. 
<laughs> to what? <laughs> uh, to who? So it's my cute, innocent husband. Uh, you, yes, you've been married two he's months ago. Sweet yes. and cute. Oh, good. But I'm cheating. I mean, he, he doesn't know that I'm in a trailer massaging. But of course, I'm doing that sex. Yeah. I love it. You know, oh, I like to try everything new. Everything did he know fun. that you were doing that before you got married? No. I mean, you know, I, I go to Key West, Fantasy Fest, and New Orleans Mardi Gras. I fresh, get busy, see? What, uh... <laughs> so why are you here? What, you, what are you... So he doesn't know I'm having a sex with other guy. I'm so doing you're here surgery. to tell your husband that you're having sex with other men, even though you've only been married two months? Yeah. Why did you marry him? Because he's cute. <laughs> yeah, but apparently you didn't, ha you're, you didn't have to marry him to I be know. with the... I like innocent boys. Just keep him in the okay. house. But you're going to tell him now that you're cheating. Are you willing to stop cheating? No way. I love so, to. So even if he says the marriage, <laughs> even if he says mm. the marriage is off now, you're willing to end the marriage then? No, I'm just this is me. So he has to accept me for what I want to. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's bring out your husband, Kevin. Yeah! Kevin, welcome to the show. Hello. Uh, when did mm. you've been married two months? All right. Yeah, we got married two months ago. Yeah. Um, uh, did you fall in love right away or? Yeah. How did you meet her? I was walking out of a bar in Fort Lauderdale Beach. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she was backing up in her car. She really can't drive that good. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> surprise, uh, surprise. I can drive something else. So uh, okay, and then you met her, and it was love at first sight. Yeah. Well, Do I you think she's a a little bit extreme? A little bit. Yeah, she's wild. What do you want to tell her? What do you want to tell him? I'm sorry. Uh, you know, we've been married two months, and I'm being good to you, and you're so sweet to me, and I love you. But I'm doing a massage in a trailer. Actually, I'm having sex with old customers. They pay me good. They take me nice, fancy restaurants. You just don't know. I love having sex. I just like to do it. I like to fresh. You know, Put your I just like <laughs> No, that's me. I do love this. Don't you love yeah. it? <laughs> Mary, we got married two months ago, I and know. you said you were going to stop this. No. I take Sometimes care of you. I stop. Mary, I go to work. I take care of you. I pay the bills. We bought a house together. Why would you do this? But I'm just having fun. I like I like you don't have fun with I me? I like boys, girl. You don't have fun with Try me? Try some no, chili, for God's sake. I sleep with you every seven times. What's wrong exactly, with you? Exactly, seven times. I still want to do something else. Something new, something new. you don't know, maybe. <laughs> you know, I might find something better every day. I might learn, I might bring you treats. Mary, you ma <laughs> when, you know? you, when you married me, you said you were going to stop. Yeah, I was, but I cannot stop. I've been um, doing this since I'm 17. I'm prostituting. Started in Tokyo. <laughs> Mama, Papa, Genki, Jerry. We'll be right back. Today, say that sometimes they let their emotions get the best of them, and that leads them into the arms of another. Please meet Nikki. She says she's found a man to spend the rest of her life with. Unfortunately, he happens to be a friend's boyfriend. Nikki, what's going on? Well, my roommate, Christina, was dating this guy named Marvin. Well, I'm here to tell her today that for the past two months I've been sleeping with him. Why would you do that? Because, okay, I lost my husband two years ago. My husband passed away. And I, I, I get tired of being alone. I get tired of being by myself. Yeah, and he's your friend, and, and why break up their relationship? You know what it's like well, to lose he, someone. Why, she's going to lose someone now. Well, she doesn't even act like she cares about him, first of all. You know, the only time she even acts like she's involved with him is when he has money to give her so that she can go to the bar. And then she doesn't even let him go to the bar with her. Now, does she talk to you about her relationship with him? Sometimes. Sometimes. And she'll come to me and she'll, she'll say, like, uh... 
He gets on my nerves. All he wants to do is bitch, bitch, bitch. That's all he does. And what do you say to her back? I said, well, you know, if you feel that way, why are y'all still together? And she tells me, she's like, well, you know how I, you know, I can't get boyfriends because of the way she looks. And, you know, she's like, a, you know that it's hard for me to get men. She's like, that's why I'm staying with him because I have him. Are you worried about losing her as a friend? No. 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 Okay, well, here she is. Here's Christina. Christina, welcome to the show. Hi. How long have you guys been friends? Since August. Since August, okay. And so you don't know why you're here. Just she wants to tell you something. Well, go ahead. Okay, well, I have something I need to tell you. For the past two months, I've been sleeping with Marvin. Why would you do something like that? Because, like I've said before, you know that I've lost my husband two years ago, okay? And I am looking, I want to be a family again. Okay, and he, he is what I'm looking for. He's good with my kids. He, you know, we're good together. He plays with my kids. Because he wants <laughs> It So do I. So it's not like it, that's a bad thing. I mean, don't take it like he wants to really be there for your kids. Apparently he does or he wouldn't do what he does. That's what you call a player. Have you not ever heard of that? No. Well, yeah, I've heard of a player, but he's not a player. I'm tired of doing it on my own. I can't do it on my own anymore. And now that Marvin's here, I don't have to. Well, let's find out what Marvin has to say. Here's Marvin. <laughs> what do you mean I'm a player? Why would you do that, huh? huh? What because makes you her don't, so you don't f me. You, you don't huh? make me feel like a man. Oh, That's you don't make me feel like a man. You don't, she does. You, you found you f you were gonna get a job and help. Yeah, and don't I got one, huh? You just got it. Oh, you've been living with me since Ohio. Ohio. Okay, one second. Ladies and gentlemen, not all our guests come from Ohio. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, uh, why would you do this? Because she don't make me feel like a man, oh, you know. She got to be like, a man to feel like one. Like, what, the things that I want, I want to have a family. I'm ready to settle down and have a family. I already made one? And she, the, how's I, how I feel, it feels like she doesn't want that. Because she goes out I'm all... I'm not ready to settle she, down. Well, but see, I, if I why, was, okay, I wanted to be okay, with you. Okay, well then, if you're not, well, you just said you're not ready. But so if you don't ever come to me and talk to me about this, you don't think my friend? Like right now, every time you get mad at me. You never are serious. You always joke about everything. Joke? Name That's one how time I am. you never got serious. That's Name how I one am. time. If I Name if you don't like one it, time. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry. Oh, but that's how I am. That's I how know. I like to joke around. But why would you do that? Why? Why do I like to why joke? Would my because I like to make somebody laugh. I like to see somebody have a smile on their face. Why would have... you sleep with my friend? Why? Because you don't make me feel like a man. You don't give me the things that I want. What is it that you want? But what would that be? I want a relationship. I want to have a family. She gives me that. She makes me feel like that. Where am I at when this goes on, huh? Where? You're at work. Oh! You do this while I'm at work? Yeah. What's wrong with you? All right, so 
So what's it gonna be? I'm going. Want? I'm going with her. Oh, you. Okay. I want her. I'm. I'm through. You want? You want to be with? Uh, Nikki. N Nikki. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you've decided on Nikki. Yeah. I'm done. We'll Thank be back. Thank God. <laughs> My question is towards the guy who's married to the Asian chick. I was wondering, are you guys getting divorced like tomorrow or soon? <laughs> are you staying with her? Is the sex that great? Are you staying with her? I don't know. How you doing, Jerry? Listen, this is for my man on the left hand. All I just say is, uh, you got thought you were getting all you got. So maybe my homeboy over here in the tie could hook you up with Yoko Ono and you can get down, homie. You can go there, so oh, please. Oh yeah, and, and, and kick, kick that thing to Burger King. <laughs> yeah, it's for the homeless looking guy right there in the middle. <laughs> Not the, not the bald head homeless looking guy, the homeless looking guy with the yellow shirt on. <laughs> First of all, you better be glad she don't have no more sisters because she's gonna do the same thing to you that he did to her. And why you want him to be your man, you demand him to be your man, baby, I'm so sorry for you, but get a life. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Okay, hold on. A young lady in a beige pants and a black blouse, you're a very big, beautiful black woman. You need to kick this bomb and that tramp to the floor. Clean house, baby. Clean house. They ain't worth your shit. Thank you. This is for the two sisters up there. I don't know why y'all fighting over little Dusty. <laughs> All right, but you ugly. Hey, Rado. Big ass gap. To the punk brother in <laughs> Looks like the sisters got more than you, bruh. <laughs> My comments for the white boy, I want to know how you could want to be a man when you look more like her son. What? L listen, the guy in the back over there, I didn't know if you were working right now, but you should be a photographer because the negative that you have next to you isn't going to be anything about the hose that you can't keep a farm on, so don't be a farmer, all right? Okay, buddy. <laughs> We'll be back. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and good luck to you. I hope things work out. You know, what's happening here is that people are thinking with what's between their legs, not what, what's between their shoulders. Because if they thought with their heads, they'd know that a momentary romance is rarely worth the loss of family or friends. 
And the fact is, if you're willing to risk it, if you're willing to screw over your friend for a screw with his or her mate, how can you ever be committed to any relationship? And why would anybody be willing to risk being committed to you? You know, the more I think about it, the premise of this show is faulty. You see, it's impossible for someone to take away the love of a friend, because one who does obviously never was a friend. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. its title as the worst show in the history of television. Now incredibly in its 13th season, here's our host, Jerry Springer. My guests today have been unfaithful, and they're here to reveal their double lives. Please meet Lenita. She's here to find out a secret from her sister. Lenita, what is going on? Well, I'm here to find out a secret about my relationship. I know it has something to do with my sister because she rolled here with us. Oh. But I don't know what it is. I can't suspect her and my boyfriend's doing anything, but I know it's something because they done called, and... I know the whole rundown, but me and him been together two and a half. You know what this show's like, huh? Yep, yeah, yeah, me I do. too. I, yeah. <laughs> I do, but... And I keep coming back. Okay. Okay, how long How long you been with your boyfriend? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. And it's a good relationship. Yes, it you is. You love well, him? Yeah, I love him, and mm. I done done a lot for him, and mm. I just want to know what's going on. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, let's bring out your sister. Here's your sister, LaToya. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, bitch. I've been sleeping with your man for about nine months. Why? How could you do that to me? We supposed to be sisters. Why? I don't give a damn about After you. all I did for you, why? You ain't do why? nothing for me. If I anything, done did a lot. Other, took whatever, care of the kids, whatever. took took them to school, did your hair, all that. Why? You stole you my what? car? You stole why? my car? Because that you ain't got nothing to do with it. You ain't got to sleep with my man. Why you got to be all slutty like that? Ain't no why? slut. Why? Ain't no slut. Why? He don't want you. He don't I bet you he you. leave here with me. No, I bet going, you he leave here with me. He's going on with me. We'll, well see. we going to see. That's all you got to say? Why would you, why would you do that to your sister, though, if you know that they're together and she loves him? I don't give a damn about her. She took my my keys to my car, left town with my car, didn't even come true? back with my car. That ain't got nothing to do with my man. I know, because your man got something to do with me. But he ain't gonna no more. Please believe that. Whatever. He ain't please believe it, though. 
Okay. So what does he tell you about her? He don't love her. She's too fat. For one, I look good. Oh, I look good. But I'm, I'm good to be sexy. I'm good to be sexy. I'm good to be fat. I'm good to be fat. I'm good to be fat. And That'll teach you. I'm good. I'm good. I tell you, we, this fight continues another minute. Jimmy will be going steady. <laughs> so. All right. All right. Uh, do we want to meet the guy or what? Yeah. We'll meet him when we come back. up there with girls on Jerry Springer with girls that need Jenny Craig. You are trash and just stay in your seat, all right? I can't get you trash. You ain't up here. You worried about me? You want some? Welcome back. If you just joined us, LaToya comes on the show to tell Lenita, I'm sleeping with your boyfriend. Um, Lenita has been with a boyfriend for two and a half years. Uh, LaToya, how long has this been going on? Nine months. Nine months you've been with him. He, when was the last time you slept with him? Like two days ago. Two days ago. So he's going back and forth. He's basically playing both of you, you know? Oh, he's playing her. I don't care. You don't care that he no. sleeps her? No, I do not. Um, she, she don't give... What do you do for okay, me? Okay, okay. Just, just tell me this. Just tell me why is you doing it. You don't care about me? Like I don't care about you. Kids growing up here, now, I we don't, don't give a... I don't give a damn. It doesn't... There. There. You still Let's meet the me guy. Why. Here's Mike. You tripping? You tripping? So what it's gonna be? Cause you ain't going nowhere. So get on over there and sit down. Get away. I don't, go. I don't, I don't be with you, go. <laughs> sit down. Don't go nowhere. Sit down. <laughs> well, I guess she's in charge. Now you tell me why you did it. Get you tell seat. me why you did it. You don't tell me why you did it. You don't show me no more love, me, no more. Lenita. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Tell me I why you did it. I do more for you. I do more. Tell, way tell more for me you. why you did it. Don't, 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 just talk. It's just about everything. No more sex. I ain't had sex with you in three weeks. We just did it two days ago. Psh, not to me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we on that. Get her, Steve. Steve ain't gonna get nobody. Well, he better stand up. Steve, stand up. Knuckle up. Stand up. I mean, what? Steve. What? What you gonna do? 
You do you care about way. do you care about anybody's feelings? You better you not care say, about man. You better not say you no. You don't care about man. You better not. You care about man. That ain't what I'm years. asking you. That ain't what I'm asking you. Answer my question. You care about my feelings? Nope. You gonna ask me the same question back? Answer my man. question. No, I don't. Feelings, caring, no, I don't. anything. No, anything. I don't. Got me. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Now, why, if, if, if you don't love her, why do you stay with her? I mean, you could have gone to her and said, you know, I'm not interested in her. I don't want to hurt her feelings like that. Well, that's, why, that's why you, I brought you, you here. You still ain't that's going why. nowhere. Now what? You gonna hold me hostage? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hold you hostage. Do whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You ain't going nowhere. Cause y'all some you gotta dirty. Y'all dirty. You gotta dirty. change your ways with me. Y'all dirty. Y'all dirty. Y'all dirty. Well, if you was, if you was doing me, if you was doing me, then hey, we won't be Y'all don't even this. act like y'all like each other when y'all around each other, and y'all doing it. That's the whole act. Ain't That's it? the. Okay. So you're, are you saying that you love her sister? You better not say. Is yeah. there something you got? Is there something you want to tell them? Don't say yeah. Yes, Jerry. You do. There's something he wants to say, right? I won't be with neither one of y'all. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, why don't you want to be with either one of them? You're sleep. Hey, that's just the sex, Jerry. Yeah? Just the sex is good. That's what she was lacking on. Okay, is there someone else? Yeah. What, what? There's, there's someone, sister. there's someone else? Yes. Who? No. It's y'all sister. Sister? Come on out. She better than you too. That's your yeah. blood too. She showed me love. She showed me love. She listened to. You ain't gonna be able to hear. You ain't gonna be able to hear. Oh, good. Go away. Go away. Get the whore. Get the whore. Get the whore. Get the whore. Who's that? Um, don't hate. Which one you talking? Don't hate. Let me say something. Baby. Let me say something. Y'all had fun with him, I hope, because y'all ain't doing it again. Sit your ass down. Whatever. You sit whatever. your ass down. I'm a grown man. You've been through the whole family. I'm a grown Is there another man. sister? <laughs> huh? Is there another yep. sister? I ain't gonna That's the it. He about That's to sit it. down. We right run here. out of sisters. This is the one I love right here. This is what I'm staying with. You keep downsizing. <laughs> well, I mean, from height. Bitches, man. I love him, That's why I don't want to be with her. Please right there. Both of Look at him. Look at him. Look Both at him. Both of y'all. Two crazy hoes. Y'all ain't no good. Y'all ain't no good. And it ain't crazy. You got a nice head love. Job, just like right? I said, you, you ain't got nice no head. Head. Right, Let me ask just a question here. Yeah, hold on. Okay. You're aware that he's been sleeping with both yeah. sisters, and that doesn't bother you that he's no. now coming to you? That no. there may be something going on here that he just likes sisters? No. You think he no, loves you? Do you love her? Yeah, he does. He loves you. Yeah, no, he's going home with me. No, he ain't. Yes, he is. I no, bet. he ain't. Yes, I am. No, 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 no I ain't got to fight that beast. Let me go home. <laughs> let me go. Please, let me go. Fight naked. Fight naked. Fight naked. Fight naked. Fight naked. I am a bitch. I am a bitch. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. What? You suck.
sisters that came out, did you guys come off a farm because your breasts look like you just got milked this morning? and they're here to settle their battles and win back their loved ones. Please meet Jenny. She's here to put an end to her separation from her husband. Jenny, what is going on? Hi, Jerry. Hi. Well, I've been married to this man for eight years. We've been legally separated for four. And um, I got an eight-year-old son by him, and he got a 10-month-old daughter by this bitch, and I want her all our life. I want my husband back home. Okay, you're still married yes i am but you've been separated for how long now four years so during the separation he's met up with this other woman yeah i had a baby by this other lady if he says he loves you why is he still living with her i i can't answer that question yeah well i'll ask him okay all right now this other woman how well do you know this other woman i mean we had our little confrontations i don't know her all that good yeah but you're upset with her because basically she's into you think she's in, in the marriage but she's not the reason your husband left you I mean, in the no, yes, it is, because he cheated on me with her. He came to my oh. house with a sucker bite, and I threw him out. With a? Sucker bite on his face. Oh, a hickey. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, we called them hickey. <laughs> so, the su well, the sucker bite, once there's a sucker bite, you're out. I've always said that. Okay, let's bring out your, uh, this other woman, Anne. Thanks for dressing up. I appreciate it. Uh, what's going on here? This well, is Terry, your wife. You know, okay. I've been going through some problems, okay? I've been going through some problems yes. ever since five, six, seven years. Yes. I found the opportunity to leave. I left, okay? I got tired of problems. You know, I get tired of you calling my house, telling me you need money for for school, uh, daycare center. I do all that. In the, okay, all right? All right, all right. I'm not gonna go through this. And this is the same thing why I'm not with you now. Why you hiding, bitch? Why you hiding, Kay? See, this why is why you hiding. hiding? You know why I'm tired. I'm tired. You, you decide now. You thought that we had a lot of going. Eight years, you. You thought me eight years. I still got your ass next. Good, cancel it. Retired. Well, hurry up and do it. I'm doing it. Huh? Encourage her. In other words, do you tell her that you love her? Only reason I tell her this stuff so I can sit there and see my son because this is how she acts. I could get hurt. I'm going to move over here. All right. So, okay. Oh. Uh, do you still have sex with her? No. Oh, there's, there's no more sex going on. I've been sleeping on the couch for three years. 
and a, living in the same house. And she couldn't get the idea from that. Females. Bitch, could you pay for it? Could you pay for it? You can't do it. Kami, you mark, bitch. You mark. All right. You mark. OK, this is your chance. You make your plea to him. You want your husband back. Go ahead, talk to him. KB, we've been together eight years. I'm not gonna hit you. I'm not gonna hit you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I ain't coming back. You ain't coming back? Nope. That's yeah. a We'll be back. Sisters that came out, did you guys come off a farm because your breasts look like you just got milk this morning? Oh, yes. oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I dog you and her. The I dog you and her. Sit down, hard. Oh, you and her. Don't, don't. Let me. My guests have family secrets that may tear them apart. Please meet Marcus. He says that he's been very busy lately. Marcus, what's going on? Oh, uh, well, Jerry, I've been living a double life. I've been strewn around with two other women. Ooh, okay. um, um, Selena, I've been messing with her for a year and a half. We got a six month year old kid. And I've been strewn around with another woman. Me and her got a six week old kid. Now, does the first woman, Selena, does she know about this other woman? No, sir. And uh, how. How long had you been with Selena when you met this other woman? Oh, me and Selena was together for a year, a year and a half. But, man, Washika had been dating for a year. And uh, does Washika know that you're, that you're with Selena? Well, after, you know, two weeks before she had the baby, I let her know, you know. And the reaction was kind of, but we trying to work it out, you know. It's one thing about it, I let her know I'm dedicated to my kid. Okay, now, the, uh, Selena, the one that you've been with for a year and a half, she has no idea about this other woman? No. Never met her? Never. Does she think, she, does she think that you love her? I mean, do you say I love you to her? Yes, she thinks that. Well, because you tell her that. You know why? Why? Huh, when you're doing it, it's good. You're going to tell her. <laughs> Is that what you look like when you're doing it? No. <laughs> Let's bring out Selena. I'm Marcus. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> well, I got something I want to tell you. What is it, baby? Um, I've been messing around, strewing around over here. And what it is is... I know we got a six-month-year-old baby together. I've been screwing around over you for a whole year. And the second thing of all, I have a six-week-old kid. Marcus, why? Why, why are you doing this? It's, it's one thing First about... of all, you slept with me. I took you back. <laughs> then, after all I do for you, I take care of your, I take care of your other daughter whenever you run around being trifling, doing whatever you want to do. I love you, Marcus. I tried to work it out with you. And even you promised me not to even do this anymore. Why are you doing this to Why? me? Why? Why? She's an unfit mother. Y'all still in cars. You're running with your friends. Fourth of July, I asked you to stay with me and the kid. What you want to do? You want to be with your friends or you want to be with me? Marcus, I'm, I want to be with you. I'm going to be with you. you. You're not going nowhere. We have, we have a baby together. How you you are not going anywhere. I love you. You promised me that... We, I mean, you promised me you weren't going to do this anymore. What kind of woman you think will take you back after you slept with Why did you take, why did you take him back after he did that? I took him back, Jerry, because I love him, and he promised me he, he wouldn't hurt me no more. And look at him, being trifling, want to hurt me. I'm not trifling by myself. You do trifling things, too. So you who you got a baby by, Marcus? Who you got a baby by? Uh, it's a friend. She's a nice. Friend who? Let's She's bring her on out. out.
We supposed to be a family. You gonna get you gonna marry me, marry me. You see this bitch? Marry me. Me, not you. So you didn't know about her? No. He told me he left her. No connection. No, he ain't left me. He just slept with me four weeks ago. Bitch, he ain't sleep with you four weeks ago. For real. Yeah. Run up and get this. done up. For real. <laughs> For real. Look, it, it must not be good. It, it must not be good. Baby. It must he not be good. We have anywhere. poetry on this it's, show. Yeah, he coming home with me. He coming culture. home with me. Marcus, you need to let her know what you gonna do, cause you coming home with me. You gonna take care of your son, Marcus, and you say you got a baby with her. With, with that right there, what the hell? bitch? I look better than you, honey. You look like the something that drug, drug you up out of the trash or something. What the? Shut up, you transsexual, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we ain't even gonna get on that, but you, honey. Ooh. Mm. Can I, me myself, Selena? I'm through with you. No, you're not, Marcus. You're going to always deal with Rashika, me, Marcus. Can I ask you you're something? Gonna, you're going to always deal with me. Can I ask you something? Will you forgive me? I forgave you before. Mm -mm. I well, forgave you before. I got one thing I want to show you. No, man. No, man. Will you marry no, me? Man, no, man, no. Will you marry me? Please move. Please move. Large ladies should wear girdles. It holds the stomach in. Let's see yours! Let's see yours! Let's see yours! Let's see yours! Take off the top! Take off the top! Take off the top! Take off the top! Take off the clothes! Take off the clothes! Take off the clothes! Get a facelift! Okay, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. To the guy in the green shirt. Uh, this is the reason why you're sleeping on the couch because you can't fit in the bed with her fat ass. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, there's no room for you here if you have respect for yourself. <laughs> for the, um, the young lady in the front row with the black jacket on. Why would you trust a man like that when he's been all around with that one right there? Hey, you look you like a very that. good woman. Why would you mess with a dog like, like that? You'll he's talking about who's being trusted and you being trusted too. You'll be with the What you want? Look at your what you want? Look at your what you want? What you want? What you want? What you want?
Hi. Uh, this comment panel, the guys should keep their dipper and their Come on, fish. up and get done up. Come on, man. All right, hold on. Shh. Hi, Jerry. Uh, this comments to all the guys in the panel. I think everyone should keep their dipper and their zippers and stop creating all these babies. Because all you guys... Jerry Springer, you guys need Jenny Craig. See it, see it, see it. That's what you want to do. You want to see it. That's all you want to do. See it. That's all you want to do. See it. Hey, hey, here it is, here it is. I'm going to see it. Hey, hey. I'm not the one sitting up there with girls on Jerry Springer with girls that need Jenny Craig. You are trash and just stay in your seat, I all right? I can't get you trash. You ain't up here. You worried about me. Hey, you want some? You want some? You ain't being worth a damn. You got me on the phone. Hey, hey, hey. I bet you can't be one thing. I bet you can't be one thing. We'll be right back. fighting on the Jerry Springer show. like the Yankees Red Sox. <laughs>
Come on, man. That big girl right there can beat all these people up, right? Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. All right. That dumb girl, okay. man. Let's hear from someone from the hood. I have a comment for the woman in the maroon top in the front. It's such a good thing that you're going to get rid of the guy. We all in the audience saw his package today, and he didn't have a lot to offer. I can't <laughs> I actually got two comments, Jerry. I want to ask the lady in the room top, what is your sexuality? Well, I like Are you both. a man or a woman? I'm a man and a woman no. if you want me to be. Oh, my Why God. I don't want you to you sit, you sit down. Well, you, let me see your grill, and, look, and my second comment is to the brother in the gray. Because I can fight you over him. My other comment, the reason why I said that is because he called him gay. But it's men in this audience, and you showing your peace, homie. And it ain't yeah. much to see, baby. You might want you, got... you might want something. You're talking about it. You look you're like you do. So, look at your mouth. Hey, yo. hey, hey. Look. Your mouth is set for it. He's stupid. Jerry, I've got two uh, comments also. For the two first sisters that came out, did you guys come off a farm because your breasts look like you just got milked this morning? Oh. 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 I thought you and her! Oh. I thought you and her! Sit down, oh. her! I you and her! Don't, don't. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being with us, and I hope you can work out your relationships and find some happiness. You know, one of the reasons love is so precious is that you can't buy it. You can't control it, and it's not up to you when you have it or when it ends. When it is there, nothing is better, but you're purely at its mercy. When it leaves, or rather when your partner leaves with it, it's gone, and you can't will it back. That's what we've seen here today, people unwilling to accept that the love is gone, that she is not coming back, and no amount of reason, determination, crying, threatening, or arguing will change that. I know that doesn't seem fair, but it's not about fairness. You can't force yourself to love someone or someone to love you. How well we know. Love is the source of the greatest joy and the greatest pain in life, the highest intensity of feeling there is. But it's absolutely unpredictable and unmanageable by itself which is why we seek to contain and control it by ensnaring it in concepts of commitments and vows and in institutions such as marriage. But love will not be bridled. Despite all our efforts, it can still get away. In our stories today, it did. The abandoned parties, as hard as it might be, need to move on. If they don't, they won't change the result. They'll just increase the pain. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Yeah! You know, Marcus, a lot of our audience members thought that you were gay. No, I'm not gay. You're not gay at all? Oh, no, man, I love men. Are you sure you're I not gay? I just do it just to make crazy people think things Well, like you know that. what? Why don't we ask somebody that is gay huh? to see if they think you're gay? Oh. Todd, 
Is Marcus gay? Marcus? Well, first, I'm not gay, but yeah, well, he looks you pretty gay. gay. Huh? Actually, you look cute, Well, dude. you do, too. Let me see how you're doing. I don't know. What's up? Want to go get some beers? Let me see how you do. Let me you see how you get some beers, huh? Let me see what you're working with. Like let me that. see. Yeah, yeah, throw it in the bushes. Let get me see on, how you work. Come on, on now. Nice. Come on, let me get on your back. Take a ride on. Dude, he's gay, man. Welcome to the show. Today's guests say they have some explaining to do. They say that one bed is not enough. And they're here to expose their liaisons and tell their lovers, baby, I have been bed hopping. Okay, Psychic Lover says that he can predict the future. He says when the moon is full, all of his women howl. This sounds like a perfect guest for our show. <laughs> Please welcome Psychic Lover. Jerry. Psychic, welcome to the show. What, what? Welcome, Jerry. Hey, nice to see you, guy. What? What? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is it that you do? Jerry. Uh, yes. Through divine intervention with the stars. Yeah. And the moon. Yeah. And, and the planets. And drugs. <laughs> What? Give me the answers. I predict the future. I know about the cheating men. The cheating men who hurt the broken heart women. Oh. Jerry, I am never wrong. Never wrong. Uh, so what happens? Women come to you. Women come to you. Jerry. And you advise them on what? On their relationships? Jerry. That's my the name. women come to me. They have problems. They must if they're coming to you. I solve their problems. <laughs> Okay, Samantha, how did you meet Psychic Lover? How did this come about? Who solved your problems? Okay, um, Jerry. Yes. I've been suspecting my man of cheating on me. Yes. Very no, so. I've been with my boyfriend for two years. Yes. And he comes home late at night. I told you that. <laughs> he hangs. Didn't I? Yes, you did. That's right. And he, you know, hangs out. He goes to go-go bars, and he has, you know, <laughs> he has, you know, he comes home with flyers of dancers in his pocket and they have you know female numbers on the back that, of them. You did. You Thank did. you, Jerry. And he has, you know, female numbers on the back of his you know, on, on the back of the paper. Yeah. And his pager goes off all times the night. And you know, I was just tired of this. Ooh. Our relationship is we've become we came real close. I've been seeing him for like four so now, months now. So now you're seeing him? Yes. Yes, because he read you know, he told me that my relationship I have him to this young child's body, Jerry. I've changed her, and she's perfect now. She's doing much better because of me, Jerry. Yeah, okay, have a seat. Here is your boyfriend. Now, you, you, uh, your, your boyfriend. Does he, does he know that you've been with uh, wait, wait, wait. No. Psychic Lover here? He, he doesn't know that, oh, oh, you know. Shh, what? He doesn't know that me and him have a relationship. You know, I've been, <laughs> you know, we became very close. I've been All right, well, I'll let you talk to him. Here is your boyfriend, Marco. Yeah. He's a cheater. 
um, Marco. This is my friend, psychic lover. Um, He's I a cheater. This is why. No, no, no. Don't you look like a cheater? I really was, I'm not satisfied with you coming home late at night. I come home late at night because I have to work all day. You know how much I care about you. You know we went through. But I, I found female numbers on the back of some are flyers. So? Them be my, that's my cousin stuff. That ain't mine. What does a female number look like? Yeah. What you talking about? If I, if I cheated, you think I'd be coming home every night? I call back your pages and a girl answers the phone and when she hears my voice, she hangs up. I'm always correct. Always. Always. So, so what, what, why we had to come here? What, what, what's going on? What's, what's this? You're a cheater. That's why. And I... You know. Really? <laughs> you, you, hell? I don't want any we trouble through, from you. We went, we no been, trouble. Man, you just shut up. We've been through too much for to have to go through this stuff. You brought me on national TV to tell me this? Uh, whatever. You're saying you haven't been cheating. No, I ain't been cheating. She know this. Well, okay. maybe he's What not evidence right do you have that he's been? Um, what about the girl around the corner? You don't, you know there ain't nothing going on with me and the girl around the corner. The girl that you've been taking home. Dick bad life. For money. Excuse me, Jerry. I don't understand why your pager goes off at 5 Master, 6 o'clock in the morning. we need to leave this guy alone. And why you come home at 4.30 sometimes. You sometime. need to shut up, baby. That's On the weekend. Need. You said That's what you need. You need to shut up. That's what you need to do. For real. <laughs> Steve, you better get my man for real. I predict you will be a loser all your life. Give it to me. And you're going to believe him. Looking like Barney. <laughs> There's more to this story. We'll be right back. Point is, as I understand it, I've been told by my producers this that you have a fiance. Yes, I do. Does she does she know about your healing tactics? Uh, Jerry, I didn't predict this right now, but we hold one second. Well, she's backstage. I think she knows now. Here is here she is, Lakeisha. We've been talking here to uh, Psychic Lover. Psychic Lover uh, says that uh, yeah, women who are in relationships come to him when they think they're having problems. Trip. He predicts what's going on, what will happen. Uh, she, and so he told, among other women, he told, uh, oh, help this me here, guy? Samantha. He told Samantha that his, her boyfriend was cheating on her. She believed it. And uh, Marco denies it that he says he. I ain't never cheated, Jerry. I don't you cheat. never cheat, okay? Yeah, okay. Cheat. But I don't cheat. Here's where it gets a little bit uh, seedy. Here, you not only tell these women that the guys are cheating on them, but you then sleep with them. Well, Jerry. Yeah, we messed them. Okay. Jerry. We messed around. All I do is heal them. They need the feeling of. <laughs> But here's the point. Okay, the point is, as I understand it, I've been told by my producers that you have a fiance. Yes, I do. Does she does she know about your healing tactics? Uh, Jerry, I didn't predict this right now, but we hold on one second. Well, she's backstage. I think she knows now. Here is here she is, Lakeisha.
Okay. Jared, we're having bad problems. How could you do this to me? You gonna sleep with this tramp right here? All right. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. What do you want to say to... You didn't know that he does this, huh? What do you want to... No, he's supposed to be a plumber. No, don't so tell... So who's you Okay, hold on. He look like a plumber. It sounds... It sounds to me like he's been doing some plumbing. Yes. You what? You what? No job. Get the job done, Jerry. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Well, I show you a job. Don't even know. She shouldn't even talk. Okay, it's a service. Nothing. Well, there's another guy. You told another... Wait, you told another woman that uh, her boyfriend was cheating on her, and they split up. And here is the guy that you said was cheating on her. Oh. Here is Roach. saying uh, what happened let me hear your story don't go after him let me hear your story man he, I got problems though for real he told you had a real. you had a relationship with a girlfriend yeah, right and you know what I'm saying she make a little psychic phone whatever the he's supposed to be you know what I'm saying making little phone calls to my man and things you know what I'm saying told him I'm cheating I'm doing this I'm doing that you know what I'm saying hold on bro but you can't tell me what I'm doing though bro the stars the star star whatever man you got stars flying around your head, the bro. Never lie. Okay. You can't tell mine, man. Okay. You can't tell mine, man. The planet is a star. Never lie. For real. I got a feeling if you continue this, you're going to see stars. Let me hit him. Hey, Jerry. Let me hit him. Hey, Jerry. Well, let's meet her now and, and find out what's going on with her. What's her name? Tanita? Yep. Here's Tanita. Tanita, I understand you've been going with Roach for three years. Yes, I have. He looks like a Roach. That's his name. Shut up. Shut up. All right. All right. Get up and come down here. Okay. Uh, what happened? How did you wind up going to see the psychic lover or whatever? Well, I um, met my psychic lover through a friend. Yes. And um, I started seeing him. We had stars having sessions every week. So she got drama, so you want to bring drama to me, right? I'm not bringing no drama to you. He told me that you were cheating on I me, guess, and I believe you. him. If the whole want to hold in, you let her go. Fool. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the psychic lover. He's my man now. I he your man? Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, all that wasn't even explained, though. You know what I'm saying? All I know. You ain't say nothing about this in love, fine. Well, you know I didn't tell say you, that you, that you kicking it with him, though, like that. I, I slept you know with him, too. And it's been going on for months. Little Roach? Okay, well, well, well come on, little Roach. Okay. All right, so this relationship is over now. Yes, it is. It ain't, and, uh, it ain't over. It ain't over. Leave it with everybody, over. Yeah. That's what she it's say. Uh, who's that? You're, you're finished with You're finished I'm with him? I'm finished with her. You're finished with her? Yeah. You're finished with her. And, and you're... You're going to stay with Psychic Lover? He's sleeping with everyone. Yeah. Gary, we'll be right what back. What do you want to tell Tiny? Well, what I want to tell Jackie and what I want to tell Tiny is that it's been somebody else beside them, too.
Thank you. Today, guests say they were born to bed hop. They're here to let their lovers know about their sexcapades. Now, I know. Well, Vampiro says that his love life is getting confusing. He says he has a different woman for each day of the week. So, uh, do you love do you love any of these women? I love all the women. I love every woman in the world. I think they're the best. Hey. You know the feeling's mutual. Hey, you know that. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, so you lie to them. Do you tell them you love them? I don't lie. I just, you know, love all the women. I don't lie to them. I tell do them I care about them. Do you tell them that there are other women? Do they think uh, that no. you're... I won't tell them that there's other women, but I'll tell them I got friends. You have friends. Okay. Friends. Well, let's meet the first woman you're going to tell. How long have you been with Jackie? I've been with Jackie for a year. For a year. And you're going to tell her now that there are other women? Well, I'm going to tell her that, um, you know, we had ups and downs, but I had to do what I had to do as a man. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. No doubt, y'all. Okay. Well, here's your girlfriend, Jackie. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, how did you guys meet? How did we meet? On Halloween or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Well, it was kind of strange, the way we met. Yeah. And uh, but how's the relationship going? Well, it's not been going too good, Jerry. It's been up and down, and Aww. we are not getting along. And what, does he bite you? Sometimes he does, yeah. <laughs> he does bite me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want to tell us? At one point, you really loved him, didn't you? Or you do? I do. You do love him. You better love me back, too. Oh, I think so. What do you Go want ahead. to tell me? My baby, you know how we had our ups and downs and everything like that, right? Well, I brought you on the show to tell you that I've been cheating on you with one of your friends. On national TV? You know what I had to do, you know? And... I want to know who she is right now. I want him to bring her. Jerry, bring her out. I want to know who she is. I want to know who she is. I want to know who she is. I don't care. I don't care. I want to know who she is. She's she better not be one of my friends. What you want me to do? Tiny, how could you do this to me? What just happened? How could you do this to me? You've been my friend for over how long? Three years? Oh. What? Yeah. If, you know what? You know what? You know what? No, no, you no, 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 no. Come on. Relax and sit down. I don't got <laughs> words for you. If, I got no words for you. If she's. Jerry, I treated this girl like if she was my daughter, all right? Like my daughter. And she betrayed me like this? He was treating a man right, maybe he wouldn't No, I've been either. treating him right, all right? I've been treating him right, and you know that. You know that very well. If she's well. your friend, why would you sleep with him? Because he came to me. She wasn't treating him right. What do you mean he came to you? He ain't got time for you. He ain't got no time for you. And you know that. He ain't got no time for you. You know that. You know that. You're a little slut. That's why you are. What do you want to tell? What do you want to tell Tiny? Well, what I want to tell Jack and what I want to tell Tiny is that it's been somebody else besides them too. No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! This one I better not know. You got paid too, you see? Is it worth it? No, it's not it's worth good. it. It's you see, good. that's what that's what you get for being.
see her. Yeah, where is she at? I want to see her, Jeff. Where is she at? I want to see her. I want to see her right now. All right, here is Maylene. Did what I had to do, yo. You did what you had to do? I don't get please. One ain't get, enough. You don't get please? Okay. You ain't getting please. That's, that's getting please. That's you ain't getting please. That's I'm more than a woman that these two little girls, all right? I'm okay. more than a woman than these two little girls. There ain't nothing next to me, and you know that. Okay. Okay, I, I have an idea. Everyone stay in their seat just for a moment because we got to give these guys a rest, okay? So stay in your seat. Please, please. Yes, Thank sir, you very much. Thank you. Stay in your seat. Plus, I'm a chicken. Um, how long have you been with him? Six months. Do you know these other women? No, I don't. What do you want to tell her? Yeah, speak. Well, what I want to tell her is that, you know, I don't mean speak. to hurt nobody, but, you know, yeah. I've been with her for a while. Been with her it's for not a while. while. It's, it's not a while. Been it's been a year. Yeah, but a whole year of my life I've dedicated to you. I spent time with you. I spent time with you, but right? we had our problems. All the time. We had and our problems. And you're doing this to me with not one, fighting, two, 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 two girls, two girls, two girls, two girls. choose right now. You better make up your mind right now. Now. Can I have all three? No. No, you can't have You're Why waiting. Not? Yeah. You're waiting. No, I don't have think so. Have the cake or cake? You just want it. Don't you get near me. This is a good show. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> you know, I'll break you in two you seconds. You better choose. I'll break you in you two seconds. You better choose. I can't choose. Treated yeah. you like a daughter and look what you're doing to me. I don't believe this, Tiny. You're out of my life. I buried you today. Dead. You're very tiny. We'll be back. Stay with us. Ten musical beds. They're here to reveal that they haven't been monogamous in their relationships. Oh. What a surprise. <laughs> Marcus says that the only reason he cheated on his girlfriend was that his mistress reminded him of her. I mean, I mean, don't even sure. Can I get a white, white? Yeah. You... What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's more than one dog in this room. Yeah. Okay. Where your man at? Where y'all man at right If you're, okay, if your mistress, if your mistress, you're saying that you were with your mistress because she reminded you of your girlfriend. Well, if you like the look so much, then why aren't you just with your girlfriend? Uh, you know what, Derek? My girlfriend stays sleep a little too much. You what? She sleeps a little bit too much. You know what I mean? She, she, she gets tired a little too much. She, she. She slacks on the job a little too much. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, what's her it's job? Got, it's got to be there. It's got to be there when you're ready for it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. But you know what? I know all y'all get y'all groove on. Some of y'all done tiptoe. You know what I mean? I ain't the only tiptoe. I ain't the only cat burglar. How there. long? You know what I mean? How long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. long have you been? Uh, how long have you been with your girlfriend? I've been with my girlfriend for three years. Three years? Yeah. Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. Oh. That's all good. Guess what? I ain't here. I, I'm from Nashville. I ain't come to Chicago to get no love. You know what I mean? I'm here to talk to my gal. The rest of y'all can go. Okay, you are. So you, go. you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So you're going to tell your girlfriend that you've been cheating? She deserves to know. Well, I bet. <laughs> uh, and, uh... 
Who? Who have you been cheating with? No, it's her mother, really. The what? Her mother, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't do the dude thing. It's all gravy. It's all gravy. It's all gravy, baby. Love y'all. I got the, I got my groove on. <laughs> I right, don't hate to play. I hate the game, baby. It's a dirty, dirty game. You know what I mean? It's a dirty game. You have been with your girlfriend uh, for three years, and now you've been sleeping with her mother. How long you been sleeping with her mother? Uh, it went on. It went on to off and on two, three months. Two, the last two or three months you've been sleeping with the mother. How honestly, I mean, yeah. how can you justify that? I, I ain't here to justify it. You're just here to tell her? Yeah, I'm just here to just put it out in the open, you know what I mean? And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? You don't look too, you don't look too clean your damn self, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, you, know you saying? just nest because you're dipping your thing in and out of things and I hope you get right. some kind of disease and Here's his girlfriend, Latoria. <laughs> Hi, Latoria. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How long have uh, you, you guys have been together? What, three years, he says? Yeah. And how's the relationship going? Jerry is fine. I like it. We don't argue much. Uh, and hopefully one day we can get married. Oh. Uh, what's his best quality? Well, he takes care of his business. He, I love him. Good. See? Okay. Seems like a lovely lady. What do you want to tell her? Uh, I mean, I bought you the Jerry Spine here to tell you. Um, I want to be with you, you know. You've been there for me when I needed you. Um, we've been through our ups and downs. You know, I've forgiven you for, for being dishonest to me. And now I want to, you know, confess that I've been dishonest too. What is it? Well, well, it's two or three months. Been cheating. You're about to find out. Oh. How can you do me like this, Marcus? Oh, well, come on out. You might as well find oh, out. Never promised me, you know, we're gonna do this, do that, we're gonna have a you came right in the house, you you drank one one cup of champ one cup of champagne with me and you went to bed. Mother, I just got out from work. Wait a second. The I mean, punishment for going birthday. to bed is not, gee, I'm gonna sleep with your mother. Yeah. She doesn't like champagne, you know, but her mother does. So me and my mother's on the Wait a second. Yeah, yeah. This is your daughter. How in the world could you sleep with your daughter's boyfriend? I know I did it, and I'm sorry, Latoria. I'm very sorry. And it'll never happen ever again. Never. Mm, Mama, I forget Y'all boo, y'all can't boo me. Y'all probably done, done it too. Oh, no! What do you want to say to your daughter? Why don't you two talk? Latoria, I am so sorry. It happened twice. It will never happen to me. I forgive you because you my mama. You always going to be my mama, but you. I mean, you lied to me before. You know, you were dishonest with me. He wasn't when, with when, your when, when we were separate. Yeah. Hey, no, nah, 
see, see, when y'all booing, when y'all get through booing, though, Jerry. You'd like to still be with her? Yeah, oh, yeah. And you're going to think about it? Mm-hmm. We'll be back. Two lovers are better than one. They say they're here to expose their secret lovers. Okay, please meet Amanda. She says that her boyfriend has no idea about her kinky ways. Hello. Amanda, what's going on? Um, well, I've been a naughty, 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 naughty girl, Jerry. <laughs> but naughty. it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun. What you been doing? Um, well... It would be all right, but I do have a boyfriend, yes. and he doesn't really know anything about things like that. So, uh, the latest thing was last week I had a threesome when uh, he wasn't around. You, uh, you can see how our audience disapproves. Uh, so you have a boyfriend. How long have you been with the boyfriend? About six months. Six months. And you like him, love him? like him a lot like him a lot uh and so you're basically going to tell him that you've been cheating and you've been cheating with a uh, a man and a woman two women two guys a man and a, a horse woman. and a dog what <laughs> I'm, no you don't know on our on our show you always gotta ask <laughs> okay but a, a man and a woman a man and a woman okay and does he know them oh yeah oh he does yeah <laughs> All right, here's your boyfriend. What's his name? Droopy? <laughs> Where's Droopy? Uh, Droopy, welcome to the show. Oh. How long, uh, how long you guys been together? Well, going on six months. And how's the relationship going? It's going good. Uh, seems like a nice guy. What do you want to tell him? <sighs> Baby, I've been a bad girl. <laughs> I know I always told you everything, I know, but I didn't tell you a lot of things about me. And um, first off, last week when you were in L.A., uh, I had a threesome. Oh! Your what? <laughs> I had a threesome. I mean, you know I'm crazy, but I mean, I don't know, you didn't know about all that, but, <laughs> but I'm, I just want to be straight up, you know, let you know what I'm about. I'm the tramp. She's about to be single. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. And with who? Let's come on out. Welcome to the show. You have very nice lipstick. Uh, <laughs> you are Christina and Shane. How do you know Droopy? Well, I know Droopy uh, for about two years. I lived in L.A. with him. We've been good friends for a while. If you've been good friends, why would you sleep with his girlfriend? Why not? Why not? Nah, see, y'all don't understand. She's my roommate, and we just... Hit it. Hit it. It's supposed to be my dog, I mean, it's but there. it just ended up Wait. being my mutt. <laughs> Hey, but you might got your girl, though, right? It's all good. There's plenty of them out there. Cheeks is cheeks, though. Yeah. So, who do you room with? You said roommate. Amanda's my roommate. Oh, you guys are roommates. And, and you're the girlfriend. No, I have my own girlfriend. <laughs> How silly of me not to know. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. So, uh, so, how are you together with Shane? Um, tramp too. <laughs> You're just friends. You're just jealous because I could satisfy a girl better than you ever could. 
You want something to play with? Toys R Us is down the street. you are to do that to your daughter yeah. she came out, out of your stomach and you did that to her what kind of mom are well, you i'm a loving mother i love my yeah, daughter you love your, your, your daughter's boyfriend obviously I mean, it happened but it won't happen again and she don't have to worry about it and you yeah. really don't have to worry about it because you is not my daughter i'm glad i'm not your daughter because what you're doing to your daughter that's why there's cycles in this world because mothers like you that's why there's people cracked out because mothers like you yeah, I have a comment for a vampiro guy or whatever you are. Um, save the ladies the trouble and go play in the daylight and disappear, okay? Get yourself a man. I would like to say to Barney, why don't you go back and play with Baby Bob? Your man is yes. cheating on you. I have you a know question. He's cheating. Wait, hold on. Uh, shh. I have a question for the wannabe psychic. Did you know you did you predict that when you got up here he's gonna get whooped and get thrown around in your Barney suit? I got a thing for that guy right there in the purple. You whack! You whack! My man right there that, that slept with the mother, yeah, yeah. is this your uh, kid folk right here? <laughs> Are y'all kids? Are y'all in the kids? up, man. Y'all in the kids? I just want to know, uh, the lady next, know, sitting next to the vampire, boy. when y'all holding y'all next bone a -thon. You come on the show, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, you want to come over and teach us some tricks later on at the hotel room? You either okay. a dog or hey, you're not. Hey, for the for the fat chick that cheated on Droopy, Jenny Ca Jenny Craig's located right next door to Toys R Us. Oh. And to the to the dude that slept with his girlfriend's mom, Dumb don't you know there's no sex the in the champagne room? This is for the ladies over there. Don't you all can do a whole lot better. Yeah, Why would you want to mess with this purple Teletubby? <laughs> You are never on the stand. You're a loser. 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 I have a question. I think it's for Samantha. Mm -hmm. Your first boyfriend was like a replica of buckwheat. <laughs> and the second one looks like the, the, the giant purple grape. I don't understand. You're a beautiful girl. Why, why don't you find somebody that would treat you nice and you're beautiful. I don't understand that. <coughs> I mean, he's a very nice person. I really love him dearly. You know, he gives me good advice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, he helps Give me out, you know, in other right. ways than, you know, Betty just helps you well. and stuff. He, he's really grown to be my friend, you know. I really like him. I just want to know, uh, the chicks that were with the psychic guy, why would you believe him? He is totally <laughs> not <laughs> true. <laughs> You are a loser as well. About your you man is cheating on you. You didn't say a thing right. You didn't say one thing right. Where's your you man didn't at get now? Nothing right. Where's your man now? Oh. Right here. And you oh. better than you ever will, Barney. And you know what? His name's not Ted. <laughs> we'll be right back.
this opportunity to thank you all for being with us, and um, good luck in the decisions you make now. I hope you're able to have some stable relationships. Good luck to you. You know, cheating is biblical in its derivation. It doesn't excuse it. It's simply a recognition that ever since men and women were attracted to each other, being with one person while professing love and commitment to another has been a fact of romantic life. Now, the crime of it is not the sex, but the dishonesty that is being deceitful even to one you are close enough to be intimate with. We sometimes laugh at the behavior of our guests, but what is not funny is the loss of their individual honor. Their relationships may be over, but we all survive romantic losses. What is less easy to survive is the damage to character that the cheating represents. Now, this isn't about saving one's relationship. It's about restoring one's personal dignity and self-worth. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.